All right, we're here at the 2021 Merle Fest with the one and only Moore Brothers. Actually, the two Moore Brothers. What's going on, everybody? This is Jake. Hey, it's Isaac. We're the Moore Brothers. All right, so y'all played a couple sets here already, right? We have Friday. We played on the hillside, a few other things, and then we ended on the Americana stage at 545 to 630, I believe. And you did, you did an uh, acoustic set, right? We did. So we came to Merle Fest uh, this year as a duo. My brother Isaac played the drums and also acoustic, and I played the acoustic and sang and uh, had a lot of fun. All right. How long have y'all y'all been coming here? A long time, because we've known you since you know for for a little bit now. Oh yeah. So we were trying to remember. I believe we're almost at ten years ago is the first time we played at Merle Fest. So it's been like part of our home festival I would call and it's we've met so many people here it's been awesome and even before we started playing 10 years ago we would go to all to the jam tents and you know meet people and socialize and it's always been amazing to grow up and see everybody so yeah it's kind of been we've been there almost every year what about you Isaac uh, what's what's some uh, yeah. memories of Merle Fest Merle for you? Fest has just been like a place I've kind of grown up here I think our first appearance was at Midnight Jam uh I think I was nine then, and it was super great. It's just a really, just all these different artists coming together. It just has a really good charisma to it, I think. And it's, if you've never been, I think it's something you should definitely check out. And you were playing, both of y'all were playing kind of more acoustic stuff when you started out, right? Yeah, so we were definitely playing more kind of Americana-ish, progressive stuff. And um, one of our big kickoffs, I think, our biggest memories that really people kind of started us here was when we uh, played the Midnight Jam with the Waybacks. Wow. And we came out, and just five minutes before we were supposed to go out there, we just decided we we're going to play Magic Carpet Ride by Steppenwolf. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, I mean, I could, I mean that, that makes sense, right? Exactly. And then we go from that, and that has a big kind of minor, E minor jam part. And instead of doing that, we went into EMD by David Grisman. Oh, yeah. And that was kind of a huge moment for us, just introducing us to the festival. And ever since then, we've just been hanging out and playing the stages and having fun. And y'all have always been kind of pushing it a little farther every time we see you each year. Oh, it's yeah. It's like another, you're do, you're, you know, if it's not another instrument or another sort of genre you're kind of stepping into. Yes, and right now, you know, we do a lot of mainstream and pop. Um, but for Merle Fest, we wanted to bring it back to our roots, you know, kind of keep it acoustic and uh, just really keep that feel for it, just to fit the festival in. And what are y'all working on right now? Well, glad you asked, because we are in the process, in the studio laboratory. <laughs> we are working on an album, and it is due to release somewhere in February. We're still ironing that out, but we're almost through with all the production side of everything, finishing it up, so we're super excited. It's all originals, um, so yeah. And it's just the two of you on, on... It's just the two of us. Um, I've written all the songs and put all the instruments down with Isaac, doing all the guitar stuff on it. And uh, he helps produce. I do the mixing and some producing. And then we take a step back, and then we're going to go through and we'll master it and go through the rest of the process. Awesome. And how many different instruments are you playing? For the album, it's based off of basically you got all the drums layers and parts we've got all the bass from bass to synth bass all that kind of stuff um, all the keys stuff lead instruments hooks pads all that um, and then Isaac's kind of got all the electric magic all the guitar they're going on and uh, really helps color color the whole thing and put the give it the mood nice so the, when is that coming out you see? we're looking at February and do you have a name of this yet we do want to let us know we will all right <laughs> One day. <laughs> Pins and needles for those. Pins guys. and needles. <laughs> it's not named Pins and Needles, so right. that that would be a good alternative, maybe. <laughs> um, and what are you looking forward to seeing today? Well, today we're just taking time to hang out, enjoy the festival. We go by the Deering booth, see of our great friends and family, and hang out and uh, just enjoy the day. It's a beautiful day. Yeah. Well, it's great to see y'all. It's always hilarious. Always fun <laughs> to hang out with y'all. Fun to play with y'all, too. To, you always, you know, we we, have, we try know. to bring laughter with us. <laughs> and then to watch y'all go around the different the different booths here and, and, and try stuff and just, you know, yeah. rock out on different things. It's you like, got to. Great. You got to try it out. We love yeah. it. 
What, what have you seen, Isaac, here in that, that, that uh, at the festival this year? Well, uh, there's been a lot of great artists here, and all the vendors here are super cool uh, in the vending tent. I think just it's just a home for me. So it's not just one or two particular things. It's just the whole this atmosphere of Murrowfest itself just has this vibe to it. I think it's like super cool. Cool. Yeah, it's it's great. Well, thanks for thanks for stopping by. Great to see y'all, and um, really looking forward to. Uh, hearing the album, but also finding out what that title is. Uh, well, thank you so much for having us. We appreciate it so much. Thank you. <laughs> All right, we'll see you.